Lorenzo Alexander, our guest. Joe Gibbs wanted – so you were on the defensive line, no, offensive line. He moved to the defensive line. Other way around. Okay. Yeah. And then, <laughs> it gets but, confusing. <laughs> but then during camp, moved you back. Yeah, so like 2007, right? Yeah, so 06 is when I got there. So this okay. is where the story started. I got there in 06. I was on practice squad. Um, and so practice squad back then, you literally I, – I played every single snap that you could possibly take in practice, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, full pads, Joe Gibbs, old school, right? And so that meant defensive line. That meant offensive line and all the special teams look squads to get the guys ready. And so out of that, they saw that I had the, the capacity to do certain things, block certain guys when you're going against the starters. And so when I came to uh, OTAs in 07 for the 07 season, started in O-line. And then when I got to training camp, they moved me back to defensive line. And then the first game of the season, I want to say Randy Thomas, who's our starting guard, blows his tricep out. And so the second week of the season, I moved back to the offensive line room. And Ooh. so I, that whole year I was responsible for knowing both game plans. And actually against the Giants, I ended up playing five different positions. You know, I played guard, D-tackle, D-end, some special team stuff, all within one game. And so it, was, it, it wasn't something that I saw for myself, but it's definitely unique. And it was, it's a special moment because I probably won a few guys that have ever had the ability or opportunity to do something like that. Is that that. where they started calling you one-man gang? Yeah, yeah. So that came from uh, Fred Smoot and Sean Springs. They were just sitting around, man. So, man, you could... You could play a game by yourself, man. We're we, we, we going to start calling you the one-man gang. So it wasn't a self-given name. It was something that was given to me by those two guys. And if you've ever been around Smooth or Sean Springs, you know that they're fun, jokesters. And uh, it, was, it was cool that those guys respected me enough to kind of give me a nickname. You also won an award that I think, if it's not been retired, it should be retired. You were the 2016 Pro Bowl defensive MB, MVP. <laughs> yeah. I can't imagine that there's such a thing anymore. Nah, not not, not no two-hand tackle. touch, right? Two-hand touch, you can't do it. Yeah, what did you do in that game? That was cool. Did and you it, record five touches in that game? Is that no, how you won that award? I, I, had a pick. I actually had Jimmy Flag Graham. Pulls. Jimmy Graham got mad at me because I hit him in that game. So I definitely that was laying cats out, of, right? Award worthy. So that game was crazy. And it was that might have been like one of the times. I can't think if it was Peyton or Eli. They got up and said, hey, guys, they're they trying to cancel the game. We guys, we got to play. And so, you know, you, all, you go out there just trying to fill each other out anyway. And I can't remember, but I want to say – I think Thomas Davis was on the NFC team, and he started the whole thing. He hit somebody. Crack. And then so after that, all the linebackers on the AFC said, okay, we got to step this up. And so uh, whether it was me or uh, who else was uh, Zach. Oh, Zach's last name. I can't Thomas? think of uh, Not Zach no, Thomas. I'm not that old. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was a time uh, warp. He actually played, he actually played in, uh, with the, the Titans for a little bit. Um, Recently, Zach, what is Zach's last name? Oh, I can't think on. of Zach. And then, linebacker um, that went to Buffalo. And then Pittsburgh's linebacker. Yes. Names are just – Oh, man, I can't think of his name. But we started going back and forth, just hitting guys and stuff like that. So I probably had like seven or eight tackles. And then after I hit Jimmy Graham, Kirk Cousins was the quarterback. Jimmy, they, they, he was upset. So they was trying to come back right back at me. We're in man-to-man again. He wanted to get a touchdown. Zach Brown. Zach Brown. There we go. He ran a, 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 like an over route coming across the middle. But because I hit him the last play, he kind of short-armed it. And then I fingertipped the interception. And then pass it to, to, to Tlaib, and Tlaib took it, like, down to the five-yard line to kind of end the game. And because of that and uh, just some other plays I made in the game, they ended up voting me the Pro Bowl MVP. And I got a, a, a G90 out of it, G- Genesis, which is a, a pretty nice car to win at an a, at a exhibition game. What would you do with it? I have it. I drive it every day. <laughs> yeah. To this day. Well, to this day. Y'all nice. are actually looking to get a car. Huh? What do you yeah, think why he's doing I? with it? I, 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 I hear people that win cars on Price is Right. They just, like, you know, they sell it. They, they flip it He's or give it to a prices, family member. Right? Yeah, no, nah, I needed a car. I was looking to buy one <laughs> anyway, so it was actually a I blessing. Needed a car. Yeah, I, I needed a car. Yeah, I needed one. Yeah, I, I have I have my 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 F one fifty. My wife has her minivan, and so we it's needed a, a date night. We needed a date night car. 